kuna watu wamepoteza kabisa hatima zao baada ya kupoteza kazi tu ajira tu unasema baada ya kupoteza ajira yangu sijawahi kurudi kwa tena kawaida kwa sababu wake yeye ile ajira yake ilikuwa ndio kila kitu kwenye maisha kuna watu ambao walipoteza brand zao jambo litokea katika jamii brand yake ikaharibika brand yake ikachaka ikawa na scandal baada hapo haoni tumaini lingine tena kwa sababu brand yake ndio ilikuwa inamweka mjini credibility yake ilikuwa inamweka mjini wako watu ambao wamepoteza investments nyingi tu nawekeza pesa imepotea fedha kampuni imekufa au chochote kilichowekeza akijaleta matokeo waliopata so watu wanapopoteza vitu au watu wanaowathamini ni rahisi sana kama mtu yuko mentally tough kupoteza mwelekeo wa maisha yake yuko mtu mimi namfahamu tulisoma naye he was very bright lakini alipompoteza mama yake baada ya kumpoteza mama yake mpaka leo vinavyozungumza hajawahi ku recover kwa mtu wa kawaida ayuko tena ofisini akaanza ku perform vibaya mpaka alifukuzwa kazi he took counseling kwanza kuongea naye kumsaidia hana furaha tena katika maisha yake comment being mentally tough ni muhimu kwa sababu ina secure destiny yako usipokuwa mentally tough ukakutana na mazingira kama hayo hayo majanga maana ni kwamba utashindwa kusogea hatua ya mbele zaidi sasa na, naomba nikukumbushe vitu vinne muhimu unapopoteza mtu unamthamini au unapopoteza kitu unachokithamini cha kwanza life is in season nothing is permanent life is in season maisha yako katika majira mbalimbali hakuna kitu ambacho ni cha kudumu katika maisha i understand leo ninavyoongea hivi na wewe kuna watu hapa pengine kuna struggle unaipitia katika maisha yako na unajiuliza hivi struggle itaisha lini kuna watu pengine kuna shame na experience pengine watu wameijua au nyingine watu wajijua ila wewe mwenyewe ukijiangalia ile shame you feel ashamed but naomba nikukumbushe is not permanent kuna watu wanapitia pain wameumizwa pain lakini remember it is not permanent nothing is permanent in this world only god is permanent unaweza kuwa una loneliness ipo katika maisha yako una upweke ndani yako is not permanent nothing is permanent chochote ambacho una experience kwa sababu ya kupoteza kitu au kupoteza mtu tell and talk to yourself this also shall pass is not permanent usiendelee kukaa hapo kwa sababu the more you dwell kwenye hizo feeling the more weak you become ndivyo utaendelea kuwa weak zaidi kwenye maisha yako lakini cha pili naomba nikukumbushe kwamba furahia every good moment unayoipata kwenye maisha yako cherish every good moment so that you don't regret in future cherish every good moment usisubiri mpaka uwe na vingi uweze kufurahia no 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 furahia kila good moment uliyonayo kila level uliyonayo there's a joy you can have in life usisubiri kufika level fulani ndio ukasema mimi siku nikiwa kama blandil nikiwa kama heno siku nitafurahia maisha no hata wewe ukiwauliza there's something they desire kuna kitu na lakini kile unachokitamani kesho kisikuzuie kufurahia leo yako enjoy where you are with what you have as a way to get what you want furahia mtu nani kufurahia inamaanisha kwamba niko satisfied hapana kufurahia inamaanisha kwamba where i am right now i'm not going to be here tomorrow ndio maana yake ukihuzunika ni kama unasema mimi basi maisha yangu yako hivi ndio maana una huzuni Sasa mimi nilikuwa nawaambia watu siku moja nilikuwa kupata changamoto kwa nyuma sana sana kwenye maisha yangu mpaka nikapoteza vitu vingi kwenye maisha. Nikawa nalala chini hapa hapa Dar es Salaam, Kinondoni pale, karibu na Kinondoni mahakama. Kwa hiyo by that time nilikuwa sitaki mtu aje kunitembelea. Wananiona tu nimetoka nje na swali zangu kadhaa na makoti yangu ya kumechisha. Najua zile sub tulijifunza za permutation sio kwa zitoaje zile. Nikawa nazitumia. Nikipiga koti na swali kesho napiga una balance, hakuna mtu anajua nikitoka nje na fry na zunguza na watu lakini nobody knew what i was looking for siku moja mtu mmoja akanipiga tu simu ghafla ananiambia niko hapa round uko wapi ah so jamaa unakujaje bila kutoa taarifa jamani sio kila sehemu ya kutembelea mpaka uwalikwe so niko hapa nataka nikuone nikamwambia sina namna nikamwambia niko round come 
Kana akamchukua, kamaingiza. Kafika ndani, kaingia sebule haina kitu. Kaambia kabla tuja keti nikutembeze kidogo. Kwa na room mbili na sebule pale. Kamtembeza chumba cha kwanza, kaangalia ni makoti tu pale yametundikwa pale. Akaambia hapa anaishi nani? Nikamwambia makoti. Tukaenda sebule ni pale. Kaambia kwa hii ndio sitting room yako. Kaambia hapana, hii ni standing room. Kwa sababu hamna kocha, hamna chochote. Sasa inakuwaje sitting room? Tukaingia ndani akakuta nimeweka mabox chini na nimeweka na godoro juu. Kaambia karibu tukakaa. Akainama akaanza kulia. Kanambe Joel, we utakiu kututia sisi moyo. Sisi ndo tunapewa kutia we moyo. Kanambe hapa ndo unapotokea kila siku. Kanambe yes. Kanambe kwa nini unataka unitia moyo? Kusema hapana. Hii hali yako ulionayo tunahitaji ku encourage. Kanambe sio kweli. Kanambe nikuulize swali akasema ndio kama umeshao kukaa kwenye kituo cha dadaa akasema yes na ukasubia dadaa kwa muda mrefu akasema ndio ikaza umeshao kulalamika kwa nini hamna sofa kwenye dadaa kituo cha dadaa akasema hapana umeshao kulalamika kwa nini hamna fridge kwenye kituo cha dadaa akasema hapana umeshao kulalamika kwa nini hamna tv pale kwenye kituo cha dadaa akasema hapana nikamza kwa nini unjaye kulalamika sasa pesa inapita tunaenda nyumbani na akamwambia na mimi hapa inapita kwa mali inaelekea So silali chini tena leo kwa sababu nilikuwa najua it's just a transition. Kwa hiyo cherish every moment. Usiruhusu mazingira ya kunyang'anya furaha yako. No. By the way, hakuna kitu kinaweza kukufanya uwe na furaha wala hakuna mtu anaweza kukufanya uwe na furaha. Kuwa na furaha ni maamuzi yako mwenyewe. It's a choice. It's a choice make. Number tatu, when you lose what seems good is because God has got the best. Unapopoteza kinachoonekana bora ni kwa sababu Mungu ana kitu bora zaidi kwa ajili yako. Ameandaa. So every time ukipoteza kitu, useme kwamba mbona nimepoteza? No. Kwa sababu lazima space vacancy be created ili kitu kipya kije kwenye maisha yako. If somebody walks away from you, anaondoka kwenye maisha yako. Ulitamani umbakize. Umefanya kile unachoweza kumbakiza. Don't cry too much. Is a vacancy inatengenezwa kwa ajili ya kitu bora zaidi. So whenever you lose something, it's because kuna kitu kizuri zaidi kinaandaa. That's how God works. Number five, number four, learn to be grateful for what you have. Jifunze kushukuru kwa ulichonacho ifunze kushukuru kwa ulicho nacho ifunze akijalishi ni kidogo na namna gani learn to be grateful in your heart ndio anaambia watu yani ukiamka asubuhi cha kwanza kabisa you have to say god thank you for this wonderful day i'm gonna be successful today kwa sababu wako watu walitamani waione hiyo siku hapo hiyo god thank you for the income i have right now nashukuru kwa ajili ya kipato hicho nacho ni kidogo lakini najua kuna mahali nimeelekea be grateful mtu mmoja mtu mmoja alienda kwa mchungaji akamwambia mchungaji mimi naona Mungu anipendi anijali anizingatii kwa kweli sioni sababu ya kuendelea kuwa na imani watoto wangu wamerudishwa shule biashara imekufa naomba nimalizie naomba naadaiwa shule zinafanya nini akamwambia unataka nini sasa yani mimi sielewi tu yani sielewi kama imambo Mungu ananijali akamwambia no problem Hebu niandikie vitu vyote ambavyo unavitamani kuwa navyo lakini hauna. Akaanza kuviandika. Nilipomaliza akaambia upande wa pili kwa karatasi andika vitu vyote ambavyo unavyo. Sema nashukuru Mungu na afya na miguu miwili, macho yangu yanaona na watoto na nini? Akaambia alipomaliza akaambia naomba hiyo karatasi. Akaambia sasa naichukua karatasi nataka ni muombe Mungu. Ulichonacho akichukue, usichonacho akupe. Akasema mchungaji hujanielewa. Mchungaji hujanielewa. Uwezi ku appreciate viatu unavyovaa mpaka ukutana na mtu hana miguu ya kuvaa viatu. Ndio ta appreciate. Unajua kwamba kumbe nilicho nacho kimtamani. Uwezi ku appreciate kitu ulicho nacho cha kufanya mpaka ukutana na mtu anakuambia niko leo mwezi wa sita, sijui nifanye nini. 
Uwezo ka appreciate kipato unachokipata mpaka usikie mtu anasema nimelala na njaa sikuwa na chakula chakula. Learn to be grateful.